Hello, welcome to the video on K1 basis limitation and calculations. In this video we will demonstrate how to generate the calculation for a partnership K1 in a 1040 return. Although we are using the partnership pass-through for this video, the process is the same for the S-Corporation pass-through. To begin, let's go to Income. Down to Partnership Pass-through. And select General. If there are multiple partnership pass-throughs in the return, we will be prompted to select the entity. Choose the appropriate entity and click OK. With the pass-through selected, go to Section 6, Basis Limitation Information. To apply the limitation, select the Line 1 checkbox. In Lines 2 through 4, you can choose to change the treatment for specific items. Review the lines and select all that apply. Next, enter the basis at the beginning of the year and any adjustments to basis. After the adjustments to basis have been entered, calculate the return. To view the basis calculations, click Government Forms. Open K1 Basis Limitation. And select Partnership Basis Worksheet. Here we can see the basis worksheet. To see additional information on the calculations, go to Review and select Statements. These statements provide information for how the income and basis are being allocated, as well as what losses are being allowed or disallowed. If any portion of the loss is disallowed, it will be carried over to the next year's return. The disallowed losses are displayed on the carryovers report. Here we can see the disallowed loss from the partnership basis worksheet being carried over. Thank you for watching this video on K1 basis limitations.